Mr. Shirley. <laughs> I did not think it was really gonna be positive. I had a feeling. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little video on what we got Carmen for her Easter basket this year. Um, she is 10 and a half months. She'll be two days away from 11 months on Easter. So, um, we really didn't get a ton because she is just a baby. She really doesn't know exactly what's going on. And um, I do feel like she needs an Easter basket. I feel like, you know, it's her first Easter. I feel like she deserves an Easter basket, um, but, hi, are you creeping? You trying to see what mama got you? <laughs> but, um, she is, you know, a baby. She doesn't need a ton of stuff, um, and her birthday is next month, so we really didn't want to go crazy, um, for Easter, being that her birthday is right around the corner, and that's, you know, more important at this age than uh, her Easter basket, I feel like. Um, now, of course, as she gets older, I'm not going to cheap out on her Easter basket. But this year, it's just sort of silly to go crazy on an Easter basket for a not even one-year-old. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we got. So, um, this is the Easter basket we got. It's pretty small actually I was looking for a bigger one but I was at the dollar store that's where I got everything and I would know I could have went to Walmart but I knew I didn't want to get a lot anyway and I was already at the dollar store so yeah um and then it's really cute it's got this pink lacy stuff all the way around it it's just really cute it's like just her size and then we have um one of the first things we grabbed was this little Miracles of the Bible book. Um, I do want to get her like an actual children's Bible when she gets a little older. Um, but I did want to get her like something like sort of religious. Just being that, you know, Easter is a Christian holiday. We're Christians. So, um, yeah, I bought this little book for her. Or we got this little <laughs> book for her. Um, I just thought it would be cute. It's like real short too. It's not real long. So obviously she's at the age that she doesn't stay interested in books that long. Um, this actually might even be a little bit too long. I might have to read like one story at a time. But um, I think she'll like it, being especially these little tabs where she can grab it and turn the page easy. Um, so there's that book. And then we grabbed this book, which is like a little farm animal book. It just has the different noises that the animals make. So I really think she'll really like this book because it's short and simple and um, educational. So I think she'll like this one and it's like real soft, the wool. So there's those two books. And then she's got this thing about ducks right now. Um, we kind of just took the duck and always went quack quack with it so she can say quack quack. And um, when we say quack quack, if her duck's near her, she'll grab it. So she she's just likes ducks right now. So we grabbed her this three pack of little rubber duckies. And I like these ones too because they don't have, um, oh yeah, they do have holes. I thought they didn't have holes, but they have holes in the beaks. But that's okay because honestly, they were a dollar and I can go back and get more. But um, usually I seal the holes. But I want to start like not sealing the holes on everything like regular rubber duckies that don't have it right by the mouth um, I usually just seal on the bottom because they don't really do much anyway but um these ones would probably spray out the mouth so I might um, not seal these ones and just buy more if they get yucky but anyway there's like the mommy duck and the two babies and it's really my coloring's off but they're cute she'll love those um, I'll probably take them out of the the mesh stuff and then 
we grab this little foam ball. It's got a little duck on it. I believe that's supposed to be a duck. Um, so it's just a foam ball. She likes balls. And then um, we got her this little microfiber hand towel, which obviously she'll just use for the bath, but it's really, really soft, actually. Um, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be too rough because all the cute rags they have like this are usually rough, but this one's really soft, so I think she'll really like that. And then um, got pink grass for the Easter baskets, and then we grabbed these two glow-in-the-dark um, stars and um, the moon and the flowers. I think it'll be really cute on her ceiling. And um, I've been wanting to get her some glow-in-the-dark stars for a while, and I just haven't seen them anywhere. And then I saw them there, and I was like, that'll be perfect. So, yeah, she's got little glow-in-the-dark things. <laughs> and then we got her bunny because... You've got to have a little stuffed bunny in your Easter basket. I mean, that's just a must. So that's a little cute stuffed animal. She loves stuffed animals. And then as far as candy goes, I didn't grab a lot because obviously she's a baby. Um, she doesn't need a ton of candy. So we just got her these little peeps. Um, really, these are just for her to like taste and basically that's it because I don't let her have like a ton of candy. She's only a baby, but, you know, every kid deserves a little treat on Easter, and it's not going to kill her. So, anyway, we got her these little peep bunnies, and then we got her these ring pops, and I'm just now realizing they're ring pop sours, so that ought to be interesting. But, um, again, it's just, like, really just for her to taste. Um, and I, another reason I didn't go crazy is because I know the grandparents, or at least my parents... Um, maybe his parents do, I don't know, but I know they're going to buy for her for Easter. They always do. My parents are crazy about holidays, um, so they'll probably buy her candy, and <laughs> they always buy her candy, and of course they know she, I, we don't feed it all to her, but, um, it's just more because, you know, she's a grandbaby, and they don't want to treat any of the other grandchildren any different than her, so, but anyway without going into all those details. I didn't realize those were sour. And she's got the peeps. And then the last thing, which this isn't gonna actually fit in the Easter basket, but we got her red, little red ball. Um, she really likes balls right now. And um, my grandparents have a little red ball that she loves. And it's actually a little smaller than this one, but I figured this one would be cute for outside, especially when she starts walking. Um, so yeah, it's just a little red ball. I think she'll really like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this all together.